Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training, and today I'm going to talk about persistence and failure. So let's get started. So I recently came across the quote that says, if you want to succeed, double your failure rate. And I think that's quite interesting because I find so often people are paralyzed in fear of failure that they never want to try anything. And that's a very bad place to be if you are just on the bench, not making any moves, not doing anything because you are afraid of messing up. I think there's no better example of failure. He failed in business at the age of 21 was defeated in a legislative race at the age of 22, tried business again, failed again at the age of 24, had his girlfriend die at 26, had a nervous breakdown at 27, lost another congressional race at age 34, tried again, lost another Senate race at age of 45, tried to become vice president, lost at age 47, lost another Senate race at 49, but then was elected President of the United States at 52 years old. It's the story of Abraham Lincoln. Now, would you say he's a failure? Absolutely not. The message I want to get through to you guys is, I am a huge fan of the underdog, and I want to encourage you guys that if you feel like you're making mistakes, like, kudos to you, because that means you're trying. The fact that you are effing up, you're screwing up, you're trying, it means you are in the arena, you have your hands on the bat, you are up to the plate, you are swinging and missing. I would rather be the person that is swinging and missing than the person who doesn't even go into the ballpark at all because you are so much closer to having your breakthrough come through, whether it's business, whether it's your physique, whether it's weight loss, whether it's savings, whether it's getting your degree, no matter what it is, I just want to encourage you guys, do not be afraid of messing up. You are going to mess up. It is part of the process. Mistakes happen. Setbacks happen. Expect them, eat them up for breakfast, and move on, you guys. Do not be the person who loses sight of your goals just because you feel defeated because you've messed up. I can't tell you how many times, so you guys know that I'm an entrepreneur. I can't tell you how many times I have made some epic mistakes in business. I have like, oh, and the thing is, you're not gonna get to that six figure, seven figure level income without those kinds of mistakes. If you want to like just keep doing the status quo, like doing what you're doing, like, you know, like that's fine. If you wanna be safe, you wanna be comfortable, but if you want to get to the next level, you need to get out there, you need to try, you need to F up and you need to keep going again. So I'm always, I've always been the type of person that I would at rather ask for forgiveness as opposed to permission. And some people are the absolute opposite where they would rather just sit around and like wait for permission as opposed to just trying. You guys, you got ideas, you got goals. Like even if you don't understand your macros completely and perfectly, you know, but if you're resourceful, you will find the way. You know you should be working out, then try. Like I can't tell you how many people that I have worked with that have just impressed me beyond all belief simply because they didn't give up. It's not about being able to follow something perfectly. It's about pushing through, not giving up, and not not changing your goal because you mess up, you guys. Like if you if you believe in that goal, don't stop. Don't stop. Like even for those of you who are students, you're studying for finals and all that kind of stuff, I want to speak to you guys because Let's say you had a hard term. Let's say you messed up your midterms. Let's say you messed up some exams, some projects. But you know, don't give up. Like, do the best you can, you guys. Even if you've messed up, no matter what it is, do not give up because success belongs to those 
who are not afraid to fail. Expect failure. If you want success, you're going to have to expect failure. It's part of the process. So I just wanted to encourage you guys with another motivational video today. I'll be back with some more meal prep and macros and awesome stuff. But thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.